this video I would like to discuss the types of costs that a firm has to incur when producing a certain good. So we will have three types of costs and I will go a bit deeper into the graph behind them because the graph is going to explain everything that we need to know. So we have total fixed costs, total variable costs and total costs. The total fixed costs will usually be the fixed factors of production like land or capital or the very specialist labor skills that we need. We incur them no matter how much the firm produces. So therefore we have to pay them once regardless whether we produce or not. They are necessary for us to even get started. So over here I use the same color as I highlighted it with this red. The total fixed cost TFC for short is a straight line, is a horizontal line because it's going to be the same level incurred no matter how much output we create. We could either create zero output over here, okay? We will still incur it, we can see the red dot or the more output we create, we will still have to incur that total fixed cost. Now, the total variable cost, which is usually the labor cost, will change directly with production, meaning the more output we want, the more production we want, the more labor we have to hire. So therefore, the total variable cost over here, we can see it rises. And as you can notice, it is not a straight line. And I will explain why it is not a straight line. And finally, the total cost, the blue line over here, TC, is the sum of the total fixed cost and the total variable cost. As you can notice, the total cost is starting right from the intercept of the total fixed cost. And the reason being is that even when we have a zero variable cost, the total cost at that specific point will be the total fixed costs incurred. So we cannot have less costs than that. Meaning that the total cur cost curve will be parallel to the total variable cost. And the difference between the total cost curve, the blue line, and the total variable cost, the green line, is going to be the amount of the total fixed cost incurred. Now, what I would like to draw your attention to is this white point that I labeled on these two curves. And I want to discuss now a little bit more about the graph, about the gradient of the curve. So we will use a little bit of mathematics for that. So as you can notice, until the white point that I highlighted, both the green curve and the blue curve, the total variable cost and the total cost curves are increasing at a decreasing rate because they are concave. As you can notice, they are, they are bent okay, uh, in a concave shape. So that means mathematically that they are increasing at a decreasing rate. On this portion, okay, on this portion, these costs are increasing costs. And by costs, I mean total costs and total variable costs are rising, are rising at a decreasing rate, at a decreasing rate. What does this mean? That means that with additional output that we produce, we are increasing the costs of production, but we are increasing it slowly. Okay, we are increasing it at a slow rate. The reason being is that when we start producing, the initial factors of production, the land, the capital and the labor are very efficient. They are able to create us a lot of output. But if you remember from the previous few videos where we talked about diminishing returns of productivity and so on, we discussed that more labor that we hire, for instance, the more labor that we hire, the less efficient it becomes, the lower the productivity becomes. So as a result of that, we have to hire more labor, more capital, more land in order to increase our production further on because it becomes harder to increase our production. It becomes less efficient. It becomes costlier. That's why on this portion of the curve, beyond this threshold, our curve is increasing at an increasing rate. Therefore, we are having this concave shape. Okay, the costs are increasing faster. Okay, not slower, but faster. So on this portion, our costs for the total cost curve and the total variable cost curve are increasing at an increasing rate. Increasing at an increasing rate. 
increasing rate meaning they're increasing faster okay meaning that the more we want to expand our output the more we have to incur the costs the costs are rising at a faster rate because now it becomes more expensive to do so because we need more labor because we need more capital since otherwise if we do not make these investments the labor becomes less and less efficient so therefore we have to improve our production capacity and we can only do so by incurring larger and larger amounts of costs anyway i hope this is a good introduction to you all i really appreciate you watching if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and we are done